Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this episode of Cinderella Diaries. So, today I'll be showing you guys some shoes that I already have in my closet and that I did um, recently purchase um, and give you guys feedback and a little mini review. And for those of you who also wear size 11 like me, um, this will be a chance for you to actually see what the shoes look like on your foot before you actually buy it. So literally that's the whole purpose behind the Cinderella Diary um, series is just to give you guys insight on one, how inconsistent for us double digit shoe wearers um, the shoe industry is. So whether you're a 40 to a 42, 43, brands are literally all over the place. And secondly, just to show you guys a review. So for those of you who do wear size 11 um, or higher, you'll have an idea of what the shoe looks like on your foot before you buy it. So I hope you guys find this helpful. So I'll first be starting with shoes that I already have in my closet and we'll work our way to the newer ones. So. First, I want to start with one of my first luxury shoe purchases, which was the Christian Louboutin Pigel Plateau shoe, and I got it in nude. So here it is. Bam, bam, bam. And as you can see, this shoe um, is has a platform, a slight platform in the front, and it's very, very cozy. And this shoe, I can run, jump, skip, everything in it. And it's really, really comfortable. Um, the patent leather, I've actually had this shoe for like five years now. And it has not failed me. Um, it's my go-to nude shoe. And as you wear it, so I will say initially when you do get the shoe, you know, you do need to break it in. But I literally just put some type of oil or butter on my foot. And my shoe, <laughs> on my foot. And my feet literally slide right in with no problem. Um, so yeah, and also as you can see, um, I also protected the heel of the shoe and I'll show you guys just to make the floor less slippery if I'm walking on a slippery surface. So this is the Pigal Plateau and it is a size 42. So the next shoe that I want to show you guys is the Pigal, just the plain Pigal and it's a patent leather black. Bam, as you can see, and I believe this is, I will come write it in the description box, but it's definitely not 105 inches. Um, yeah, 105 millimeters. Um, so this is also one of my go-to shoes because it's slightly a lower heel, and I also protected the back, as you can see, and it also leaves the traditional toe cleavage, as you can see. So this is also one of my go-to black luxury, um... One of my go-to black high-end heels, and it's also a size 42. So, now to the newer shoes. I ordered, um, which I actually did an unboxing for, and I'll include the link below, the Stuart Weitzman. So they recently have a like nude, nudes collection where they have like different shades of brown, blush, pink. And this is the Leah, Leah heel. And it's 95 millimeters, very cozy. And as you can see, um, it literally just hugs your feet really well. But in this shoe, I decided to order an 11 and a half just to size up. If I have the option, I always like to just size up. Um, and as you can see, it has a smooth bottom. And it's really easy, like it's really comfortable. My toes aren't crunched. Um, and I definitely see myself getting another pair to add to my collection. So, the next pair is a shoe that sadly did not work out, and it's from Mark Fisher, and it is a slide, and I've always wanted a pair of, like, slide heels, and I was really excited when I ordered this, and when I got it and put my foot in it, as you guys can see, my foot was hanging out. I was just so sad. I was like, here's a prime example. Granted, I have a narrow size 11 foot, but here's an example of the inconsistency in shoes and it's quite frustrating but you know first word problems can't complain it could be worse but it is a comfortable but it's just not my size and unfortunately I will have to be returning it so the next and last shoe is from Mark Fisher and it is their one of their classic boots this is in snake skin and it's actually true to size. So I know with time or if I ordered the leather 
um, you know, it would be more even more roomy. But this is really, really cozy. Um, smooth bottom. And as you can see, it's just really easy breezy. Hugs the ankle nicely. And it makes a great, you know, night to day, day to night transitional boot. So that is pretty much um, my shoes for today's episode of Cinderella Diaries. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I will link each shoe in the description box. Um, I hope you guys found it helpful and let me know what kind of shoes you want to see. I definitely plan to do like a more casual sneaker shoe uh, down the line, but this is just to start with. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time on Cinderella Diaries. Bye. <laughs>